Hi everyone, my name is Diane and this is my Pink Bathtub Knits. Welcome! This is the second installment to the prelude to my yarn vent, which is starting on December the 1st. And today I'm going to introduce to you a second advent calendar, which is Polka Dot Creek Yarn, the 12 minis, 12 days of Christmas minis, I believe it's called. I'll put the thing up here. And this is a company is based out of Alberta, Canada. They are hand dyers and I chose the speckled yarn option because I love me a speckled yarn. It is a fingering weight yarn and there are 20 gram skeins and you get 12 of them and you will open them up throughout the month of December. Essentially, you would open them starting, I believe, on December the 12th to the 24th, but I've decided to do something a little different and I'm going to share with you the pattern that I'm going to be knitting with this yarn throughout the month of December. It does come with a cowl pattern, the countdown cowl, and when you receive your minis, you will get a coupon code for Ravelry, which you can download the pattern. So that was my initial um, intent was to make this cowl pattern. But then when I stopped and thought about it, I don't wear a lot of scarves and a lot of cowls, even though I do live in the middle of Canada and it can get pretty frosty here. I wanted to make something that I was going to be 100% sure that I was going to wear a little bit more often than something that I don't generally wear. So these are what some of the um, minis look like. They're all individually wrapped and I received 12 of them. I have put them under the tree and I will share a little video of what they look like beside Santa. Or no, that's not Santa. Sorry, beside the um, snowman. This is a snowman that Tubbs has received years ago from his family for a Christmas gift. And so I'm going to start this on December the 1st and I'm going to give myself two days to knit what I need to knit with this project because life is busy at times and I'll be doing daily videos and I didn't want to like overdo it. So I will open it on the 1st, the 3rd, the 5th and so on until the 12 are open and I hopefully will have a finished project for you to share with you on Christmas Day, if not very close. What did I decide to make? Let's get all my stuff out here to share with you. Now, I had my friend Milen come over. She is a very, um, very good knitter when it comes to making items. And she makes a lot of socks and sweaters. So we thought, what the heck, let's make a sweater for Christmas using this yarn. Obviously, 12 minis is not enough to make a sweater. So I am making a striped sweater using this yarn. And I had two skeins of this, so I, I don't have a Swift. So we actually just kind of she doesn't own a swift so she just kind of like opened it up and put it around her knees and just started hand winding it i attempted to do the second one it was a bit of a gong show she had to help me out i did get there in the end but it probably took me a half an hour to hand do this so this is something i need to look into as a swift or a more quicker way to wind these things up I am using as my secondary color throughout this project, the Mary Maxim Silk Merino yarn. Now this is a fingering weight yarn. It is 450 yards, 411 meters, 25% nylon, 10% recycled silk, and 65% merino. So I thought this just solid darker gray would look really good on the ribs, ribbing at the neck and the bottom and at the arms. And then I'm going to knit up the first day of Advent. I'm gonna put this in between it. Not sure how many um, rows I'm doing yet. There's still, we're still in discussion about that. And you know, that's yarn math and that's not my strongest suit. But um, 
I have put it on my needles. So I've started it. Milen did all my measurements for me so I know what size to knit. Being a bit of a rebel, I'm not doing a swatch. She is a very tight knitter. I am not. We'll see how it goes. I did get some of that cord. She gifted me some of this to put around the yoke to try it on when I get going and we'll see. God willing, we don't need to rip it back, but I did start the neckline on the gray and I'm gonna have that all ready to go. I have a few more rows to do on this. And the sweater I've chosen that was purchased as a recommendation from my friend Milen, and uh, she had made one with scrappy yarn and brought it over for me to try on and it fit me. We are one size apart, but again, she's a very tight knitter. So I'm going with the recommended size for my bust line and we'll see how it goes. Send good knitting vibes. I am making the Gracious Sweater by Melissa Clulo. Just, it's a paid pattern, so. This is a pretty popular one on Ravelry. She has made quite a few of them. It fit me quite nice. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do long sleeves or short sleeves because I'm still not 100% sure how many rows of each of the speckled yarn I'm going to do and how many rows in between of the gray. I was thinking like seven rows of the speckled and maybe three to five rows of the gray, but I have to do some yarn math. She did just scrap yarn, so she did not know how many grams she used of each color, but she did consistent rows. But we could do the gray, the in-between color, uh, a little bit less than the main color. And I don't know how far each mini is going to go, so that's why I'm not sure about my sleeve length, if I'm going to be long sleeves, three-quarter sleeves, or short sleeves yet. It's all... Let's see how this goes. I think it's a pretty ambitious project. I'm really looking forward to doing it. I will do some yarn math, as I said, and she had 16 different colors, 10 rows of each color. So not including the ribbing, it was 160 rows that she did. Again, she's a tight knitter. Um, so I just got to do the math because I got 12 skeins and then I got my solid gray in between them. I think it's going to be really pretty and I'm super excited. These are not supposed to be um, Christmas colors. I love speckled yarn. So I think the gray is going to be very complimentary with whatever colors come out. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it on December the 1st. It's going to be so fun. And uh, that is Advent number two. If you haven't yet subscribed and you're interested in watching my content for the month of December, please do so. I would really appreciate it. It costs you nothing and it brings me joy. So until next time, I have one more advent that literally just arrived that I am chomping at the bit to open. Uh, you'll see that in a day or two. Until next time, my friends, take care, keep on crafting, and we will talk real soon. Bye for now. If only for a moment we can make the darkness cease. For Christmas, I just want a little peace.